Hi, in this lesson we're going to have a look at finding the direction cosines of a given line. Um, I've got an example over here and we've got the line um, r is equal to 2, 3, 1 plus lambda 3, 4, 5. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the cosine of the angles um, that this line makes with the uh, x-axis, the y-axis and the z-axis. Um, so we're looking for um, the cosine um, of the angle with the x-axis, um, the y-axis and the z-axis. So um, we're not actually interested in finding the angles themselves, we're just interested in finding the cosine of those angles. So if we have a look at the um, equation here, the part of the vector equation that's going to help us find the cosine of the angles um, is going to be the direction vector, because this is the part that's going to um, tell us the angles that it's going to make with all of those axes. This is just um, a position vector that the line goes through, but this here is the direction. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, flick over to Autograph um, and we're just going to have a look at this um, direction and, and what it actually means to find the angle, um, the cosine of the angles. So I'm um, just going to flick over to um, a 3D page and um, I'll move it over here so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to put in um, the origin and also I'm going to put in um, the point 3, 4, 5. And if you just zoom out a little bit, you should be able to see both of those points. So just flicking back, um, and what we should um, realise is that we are just putting this part of our vector, um, our direction vector, into autograph. Okay, so I'm going to join these together. and I'm going to create a vector um, and this is the vector 3, 4, 5 um, which is um, telling the direction of um, our line. What I'm going to do now is I'm just going to plot um, a point along the x-axis um, and we're going to plot the point 3, 0, 0 so this is just showing us um, how much along the x-axis this line goes. I'm also going to plot the point 0, 4, 0 and that's going to show me how much along the y-axis this line is going and finally I'm going to plot the point 0, 0, 5 and that's going to show me how much along the z-axis this line is going. So, starting with the one on the x-axis, I'm just going to join those up with a line segment. And um, I'm also going to join these two points up with a line segment. Okay. Um, the red um, vector um, is our direction vector, 3, 4, 5. And along here, I've got a um, line that's going to have a length of 3 and that's how far along the x-axis this vector is going. Okay, and I've just put the green um, line in there to show that this is now going to form a right angle triangle. So, to get the cosine of the angle that this um, direction vector is making with the x-axis, um, I would do the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. We know the length of the adjacent side is 3 and the hypotenuse 
is going to be the magnitude of this line. Looking back over here, we can see that the magnitude of this line is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared. Just going to have a quick go at doing that now. Um, so I'm going to do over here the magnitude of our line is going to be the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared plus 5 squared um, and if I work that out that's going to be the square root of 50 uh, which is equal to 5 root 2 OK, so back onto autograph again, um, the length of this line is going to be 5 root 2 and the length of this line is going to be 3, so our adjacent divided by our hypotenuse is going to be 3 over 5 root 2. OK, um, popping back again um, and we're going to do a similar thing um, and um, we're going to do this along the y axis this time. So I'm just going to delete these just so that we don't get confused with what we're doing. Um, and over here um, we've got, whoops, over here um, we've got our y axis and I'm just going to connect these two points together with the line segment, I'm just flicking this around here and I'm going to, again, to illustrate that this is a right angle triangle I'm going to connect these two points together OK, so this here is the angle um, that we are making with our y axis um, so the cosine of this angle, again, is going to be the adjacent um, divided by the hypotenuse, so it's going to be the length of this line here, um, which we know is going to be 4 um, over the length of this line here, which we now know to be um, 5 root 2. So over here, I'm going to put in 4 over 5 root 2. OK. Um, and then finally, um, we'll finish this off and we'll do it with the z-axis and um, again I will um, delete these lines so we don't get confused and this time I'm going to connect the line up to my z-axis line segment in there and I'm now going to join these two together and hopefully we can see again that we've got a right angle triangle and um, this is the angle that we're looking for that it makes with the z-axis we know the length of this line here which is the adjacent side to be 5 and we know the length of uh, the magnitude of our vector I should say uh, and that's going to be 5 root 2 so for this one we're going to have Five over five root two. Just move that down a little bit. Okay, so we've got the cosine of each of these angles um, to be three over five root two, four over five root two, and five over five root two. Um, and if you have a look, um, we can see that we've just done um, the x component of this vector over the magnitude of the vector to get the cosine of the x angle. We've done the y component of this vector over the magnitude of the vector to get the cosine, um, the direction cosine of the y. Um, and of course, we've done the um, z component of um, this direction vector over the magnitude of the vector to give us the um, 
direction cosine in in the z direction. Okay, um, but we'll leave it there. So um, thanks for watching. See you again soon.